just got but we won't travel much far going forward so bit of build up will hurt their cause but so is Botswana hitting it long hoping that the strikers will run on it it's not going to be the most as you do mention it has increased somewhat uh, including the fact that we had rain over the uh, last half an hour so for a short period but enough to make the uh, surface wet enough for the players yeah wind will bring for me this uh, type of uh, rain the one that we just had now I think it's perfect because this type of grass holds the ball if uh, that's not wet but so this one for the first time I think we'll have a better role particularly that this is an afternoon game if it's an evening game it's fine it does get a little bit uh, wet the grass so it helps uh, with the flow back four with the long diagonal ball forward there he is right between the uh, two center backs the biggest men on the field arguably from a Yabotwana point of view there he's uh, excellent in the way that he can start the build up i mentioned his abilities not just to put in the defensive part of his game but also in setting up uh, the players around him with combination passes going forward when it's necessary yes he'll always look for space to uh, have time to look up and ping the ball towards teammates push too much on that last attempt so he will go from the back with Interesting that Botswana is once again here this uh, afternoon, especially with the tail out there. He towers above just about everybody looking out from our commentary position. But at least there's a little bit of balance, so he'll be matched in as far as that is concerned. So the finalists of 2016 with the Apollo at their feet. Ezekiel Murake. The uh, Vanan Galaxy man uh, in between the six for Botswana. Tumzanzi. And uh, that is still to be confirmed as far as our informers are concerned. But uh, there's no doubt about where they'll end up. Your hand that should already be set in your brain. And as soon as we lose the ball and it goes in the opposite direction, you get back onside in case there's an early ball forward. A uh, good chance with the uh, strike from outside of the box. Cooper, the man trying his luck on that occasion. Get into the pylon on the far side of the set. There's a good feel about uh, Murake. Murake's uh, ability. He, he, he walks light. He's a breath of fresh air. As it is evidence on the field here towards the near side. I say this basically about Morocco, basically from what I've seen throughout the tournament, not just only in this game, but for me, if I remember some of the saves that he's been making throughout the tournament, he's been hit hard with some long range strike or competition. So, looks like he's a balanced keeper with this. We've seen him deal with the low ball as well. The high balls, obviously, they seem to be seem, seem to as you mentioned a few rumors flying around to open about uh, his future and that is the thing about this tournament that players do certainly seem to take seriously the in picking up the interesting Malawan Cooper with the initial header clear but right back here by the Zambians here is Cooper keep in mind of uh, this uh, tournament which is today we will have for you we just mentioned William Chongwe in uh, line for play of the tournament Cooper himself is in line Abu there there we it's already and uh, surpasses those three goals they'll all share the uh, prize money 20,000 uh, rand for the uh, top goal scorers award Cooper to you during the build up and you are going through what we've seen in uh, what Zambia has to offer with having to play in the final as well so I think uh, there's always caution into any side that is at this stage but added to that was the conditions obviously that didn't help he was wearing a very heavy number on his back as uh, yep. wore. it's a number that uh, used to be worn by the legendary colors Voila. So it happened a number of times whereby uh, we all started getting.
Getting concerned, obviously, me as a goalkeeper, screaming at him. Why is he letting this guy go past him that east? The path of Kalusha on the ground. <laughs> just to just to block anything yeah. that will pass. Obviously, Kalusha will just ding it over and jump over him. And keep going. <laughs> and keep going. <laughs> And I uh, got a message uh, from probably a legend, though he's still pretty much a player. Uh, he's got a African Cup champions. Yeah. He comes to a special return. <laughs> Delayed a week after the Nations Cup was over. So when he comes, he comes to the dressing room. Coming on questions of uh, Zambia. Some serious questions. Going against the, the norm whereby the so-called. Uh, Pyro rank side were considered obviously superior over their lowly rank, whereby it will be a given that uh, the other that is better position in the rankings will walk over. In this tournament, we've seen a different a difference as far as that uh, is concerned. In fact, if anything, is what I think uh, this tournament has been all about. Well, they'll be used to the uh, odds being up against them, Botswana. Well, certainly the case when they eliminate the uh, host in the. For those of you that may not have kept up with this tournament from its early or infant stages, there have been an unusually high size like Liverpool Celtic, where he won the uh, SAA Super 8 with them before the uh, sponsors changed names and moved on to the uh, MTN 8. But uh, he's, uh, yes, <laughs> that's what I meant to say. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure our Tito friends would have been up in arms already trying to I hope <laughs> someone's having ready to obviously help some. Yeah. And we appreciate it. Yes, too. don't misunderstand in any way that maybe we taking this in a bad way. But the info that keeps coming, it's relevant as well to the cause of just making the protocols so excited. So do not hesitate in any way if you do have an opinion about what you think can be corrected. This is what we're trying to do is inform correctly. Including the uh Former internationals who may now fall into the near post. But defended Cooper keeping the pressure on. Now, there is the uh, touch from Cambole. Continues to move out on that far side. Let's have a look at the numbers then. Interesting here. Four position will, uh, has been. You can play for as much as you can, keep the ball position, but when you look at the numbers, when they don't make sense, then you at least have a, something to deal with. So could it be that maybe Zambia are sitting, just letting them have a ball position? And for those of you wondering, then we down the middle, some nice passing. In the end, it's all very narrow. Tatsile is the man that lost it towards that far side. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm taking advantage of that. <laughs> well, why are you putting me under the pass here? You as well have just been... The ability on the ball. Passing game of the highest kind. Lesotho. Mm. Very, very impressive. Yesterday, when uh, Zim was expected to walk over them. Yes. Final. Well, for me, it was the final before the final. Yeah. The, all the elements of the cup final. This is the other part. Botswana does very well. Is they don't necessarily hoof it forward with every given opportunity when they gain position. They're able to recycle defensively.